It is now my honor to introduce to you Mrs. Donna Yost. Thank you, Amelia. Wow. Nice to see you all at Northwood again. I love this university. I love the people here. And I love coming to this to speak to all of you. Go blue, right? Um, pumps into power. What do you think about that for an opener? Women in business. Of course, women in business. My mantra has always been pumps in power. Yes, I love heels, you can tell. And if you ask him, my husband over there, he'll attest to that fact because there's shoes everywhere. But it's not just the heels. I use pumps in power as a mantra because it is one of my personal goals to empower young women to pursue careers in business and become entrepreneurs. I believe women have earned their place in business and can be just as likely to be successful in that endeavor as any man. I also believe that in practicing courage and kindness in all things we do will bring us to our goals not only quicker, but achievements will be more rewarding and way more meaningful doing it that way. The Life Chest is really a remarkable business. It started years back by my husband, Kim, then recently revived by myself and my team. We have touched countless lives indelibly with the Life Chest, and we've also opened our own hearts and minds to remarkable stories changing our own lives forever. So, First slide, my dad. We've dealt with a lot in the last couple of years at the Life Chest, most of which were discussed in daily conversations with my dad. He was with me every step of the way. Every day started the same. I'd dial him up. And he'd answer the phone from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and he'd say, hello, Michigan. What's going on, Michigan? He'd give me my weather report. He'd tell me what the weather was like there in Edmonton, always freezing. And then he'd tell me, it's going to rain. You got your rubber boots on? And he'd laugh because he knew, no chance, no rubber boots for me. They were always heels. <laughs> Knowing that was always a no, he'd then just start asking me all these pertinent questions. Are you gaining? Are you making a difference? He'd laugh a little. I'd fill him in on what we were doing who we were talking to, how lucky we were that people were coming and visiting us at the life chest and telling us their life stories. And he'd say, go get them, Donna. But remember, if it's too easy, then it's not good enough. It takes courage to build a business, to make hard decisions, to get stuff done. If all you want is a job, go get a job. To build a business, it takes strength. Part of that strength is to remember to be kind. Remembering that can make all the difference. He said, believe in those shoes. Try to walk in everyone else's shoes first. That's his pumps in power. He was huge for me, and what I learned from him will live in everything I do. We lost my dad just a couple weeks ago, and courage and kindness are, her, are his words of wisdom, and we're going to live by that. So 
most of why he talked about courage was that you cannot be an entrepreneur unless you say yes. Yes to all the hard stuff. All the stuff that no one else wants to do, you say yes, I'm gonna do it. And if you can, you will succeed. The life chess story kind of goes like this. I was golfing. I was the wife of the CEO. My phone rang, and on the golf course, I'm out, about to hit my 250-yard drive, <laughs> and ring. So I pick up the phone, and it's the boss over there. Donnie, I'm at the furniture show, and someone is stealing our idea. They're making life chests, but they're calling them dream capsules. You have to you have to stop them. Somehow you have to stop them. You have to go get a visa, find out who's doing this, and make them stop. It sounds kind of weird, but honestly, uh, in less than two weeks, I was on my way to China. I went by myself. I flew to China, landed. That's courage. I went to Shanghai, flew to southern China, got on the plane, didn't have a clue where I was going, couldn't speak the language, sat down, that's courage. Got off the plane, found my way to the hotel, didn't really know what anyone was eating, ate something courageous, actually, you can see them up there, that's like called a 100-year-old egg, and they are really gross. If anyone tries to tell you that they're really delicious, don't believe them. They do it to every crazy person who comes there that's a foreigner, and then they laugh and run away, and you just ate one of those things. They're horrible. But <laughs> I, uh, I did eat it. That's courageous. <laughs> and in my high heels, off I went to find the factory. You can see the factory gate there. That was a gate that I stood at for a very long time with a guard with a gun who kept telling me I'm not going in. I stood there and stood there and stood there, and he kept getting frustrated, going back on the phone, coming back out, saying, I can't come in. And then eventually I got in. And what that did for us was let me learn what the dream capsule people were doing. And they were actually doing the same thing as Kim had done many years before, manufacturing life chests, calling them a different name. And actually, the boxes were identical. Everything inside was identical. And you know, I laughed and thought about it for a long time while I was traveling home. It was interesting because all of that standing there took courage. And as I flew home, I thought about what we could do. We could stop and say, well, somebody beat us to it. Or we could just do a better job and kill them with kindness. And so that's what we did. We built a much better quality product. We had great designs. And of course, we developed our story. We did such a good job of developing our story that I took my sidekick, Julie, and we went right to North Carolina and flew to Fort Bragg, met with several war heroes, these war heroes told us about all of the things that they had experienced and how important it was for them to have a special place to keep their keepsakes because they changed the world for us. They gave us our freedom. And we know how powerful that is. And so by taking the personal trip, going there, meeting with them, listening to their stories, and actually even jumping out of a plane, that was our commitment to making a difference for the military men and women in this country. And that's what it takes. I'm scared of heights. I didn't want to jump out of a plane. As a matter of fact, I didn't tell anyone I was jumping out of the plane until after I did it, because I thought, 
I didn't want them to worry, <laughs> and I knew that I don't think there's that many people who really want to jump out of a plane, but I did. And in doing so, we got a lot of respect. The men and women that protect our country knew that I meant business, that we were going to help, and we were going to make a difference for them. And so we have, and we have a freedom chest and a patriot chest that we developed with the help of the special services, Delta Force and, and Golden Knights. And now we have this very beautiful chest. And uh, that's something that we're very proud of. And that all takes courage. What I'd love to do now is let you see a video well, Memorial Day might be over, but it's never too late to show our appreciation for those that have sacrificed for our freedom. And a company from Troy called The Life Chest is doing just that. Join me this morning to talk about the Leave a Legacy campaign is The Life Chest CEO, Donna Yost. Good morning. Good morning. Well, tell me all about Life Chest, how that got started, and then this new campaign. Well, we have been building Life Chests uh, for a couple of years now, and through the life chess program I have met a lot of military families mm -hmm. and in having spent time with the families I found out that the life chest is a really special thing to all of them so we have brought a life chest today and uh, that life chest is actually Master Sergeant Major Jones life chest so wow, yeah it's beautiful it holds all of the really special things that a military family will collect throughout a military career. Okay. And so it is very heartfelt and So these chests beautiful. are built to go back to the families then? Yes, they are. Of the, of the person that you are honoring with this chest. That's right. Wonderful. That's great. And, and how are you helping the troops now with this Leave a Legacy campaign? What we're really wanting to do is to be able to donate life chests to combat injured troops and their families. Okay. We have spent a lot of time with combat injured troops and the all veteran group. I've actually jumped out of a plane oh, wow. with one of the founder of the all veteran group. Wow. And it really gave me the awareness as to how that therapy in the air program would help a, a combat injured troop. Okay, and how can people help donate and help support, um, support this Leave a Legacy campaign? We are on crowdrise.com okay. and all you have to do is type in the life chest and it'll bring you to the campaign. And I understand that you're actually going to be at Belle Isle this weekend, so tell us about who, who will be there with you. <laughs> we are really excited to be at Belle Isle with the life chest and we actually have, have Ranger Jones with us at wow. the booth. So he's, he's a great American and he is an American hero and anyone who would like to come to meet him we'd love to see you there at the Crowdrise tent with the life chest. Wonderful and again that is his chest so it he will is. be there you can take pictures with him. Um, will you have the chest there as well? Absolutely okay. we'll have a couple of chests we'll also have a chest that has uh, a lot of race car drivers paraphernalia oh, cool. in it. So uh, the life chest can be used for anyone, but our main focus is military. Well, I love what you're doing, and thank you so much for being here and spreading the word about the life chest and the Leave a Legacy campaign. Real quickly, one more time, the website to donate? Crowdrise.com, and all you have to do is type in the life chest. All right, thank you so much, Donna. We'll be right back with another news brief after this. All right, so a lot of things that we talk about uh, in regard to kindness is that often you don't expect some of the things that happen to happen. So, like the video not playing. <laughs> so, there are some really amazing things that have happened in the Life Chess life. First of all, I think you might recognize Nigel Barker. Nigel Barker was at an Art Van event. Uh, with a little bit of patience, uh, I sat and waited while he talked to a lot of people and then eventually I got to go up and talk to Nigel. Nigel has a number one bestseller, and I had just finished my book. Nigel and I traded books. He signed mine, I signed, I signed mine and gave it to him. And we've been friends and communicate a lot ever since. It's great because he has some really amazing things that he talks about with his family, and he's a very successful person. And uh, he loves the life chest, and we're getting him a life chest, and he's going to keep all of his 
special moments that he spends with his kids in that life chest. I also met Barbara Corcoran. I went to Grand Rapids and I kind of was like a stalker. I love Barbara Corcoran. So I went in, stayed the night before, and got up very early in the morning and was down in the lobby. And Barbara Corcoran came out of the elevator. And you know who she is, right? Shark Tank. And she's a very powerful woman. And she saw me, and I just had this big smile for her. And she came up and hugged me. and took a whole bunch of photos and then invited me to drive in her car to the event she was speaking at. So I got a personal half hour with Barbara Corcoran. It was remarkable for me and it's in my life chest. We also have Barbara Corcoran uh, who has her own life chest. So kindness creates a lot of opportunity and it opens a lot of doors. So we're very proud that by being kind, we've had a lot of great kindnesses shown to us. One of the things that we do is we work a lot with charities, and we have given life chests. 55 life chests were given to veterans, Vietnam veterans in Detroit. And it was one of the most heartwarming and beautiful experiences that I've ever had. We had 55 Vietnam veterans receive chess and love the fact that they were being recognized and that they had a special place for all their keepsakes. A lot of these Vietnam veterans have Purple Hearts and all kinds of things and they've never been recognized before. So what we love the most about what we do is that we end up creating opportunities to meet some of the most remarkable people in the world and also the most needy people in the world too, people who need help to keep all of the special things for their families. We work with breast cancer, we work with all kinds of different people, but of course you know who that is. That's President Bush Sr. and we were able to give President Bush a life chest on his 90th birthday when he jumped out of the plane in June of 2014. President Bush is going to put his life chest in the presidential library. So our life chests are now sprinkling all over the country. And it's, it's really rewarding to see that and have that happen. So these young ladies are, are recipients of life chests at a breast cancer conference in Nashville. And uh, that is Molly McDonald, also from Michigan and she has the pink fund. And so we work with all of these different charities. There was a study published in, in the UK suggesting that people who give are happier than they are if they are spending on themselves. So it's pretty interesting. If you read this slide, 86 people taking part assigned to three different groups. Group one had to perform a daily act of kindness for 10 days. Group two was asked to do just something new that they'd never done before on those days. And group three had no instructions. After 10 days, researchers asked them when they did their life satisfaction questionnaire, the ones who practiced the kindness or engaged in novel acts experienced the most significant boost in happiness. So it is proven that if you have the courage, if you're kind, and you're diligent in what you want and what you believe in, you can make a huge difference in the world, and you can run your own business, and you can be successful. What I know for sure is that doing what I do today, it is most gratifying career I've ever had, and I've been fortunate to have wonderful careers. By being a kindness-centric business, we are not only doing good for others by giving, we are fulfilling a most gratif gratifying kind of career building. And the people I work with love their job, and they can't wait to be there. So I thank you for letting me share the story of the life chest. I think that Everyone can go forward with courage and kindness, and it'll make a huge difference for everyone in the world. Thank you.